I got a question about street preaching and public ministry. Um, the question was about how many people are against street preaching. Why would they be against street preaching? That's a good question because every preacher you see in the Bible preached on the street and they were involved in public ministry. Jeremiah 5.1, Jeremiah is told to run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth the judgment that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. So he's told to run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. In Jeremiah 11.6, it says, Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. In Jonah, in Jonah 1.2, he is told to arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. I doubt that Jonah got an open door at the First Baptist Church of Nineveh. I doubt they set, him up, set up a tent for him. I doubt that he was invited to preach in a camp meeting. He was obviously going in there when he got out of the well and just started preaching in front of everybody that would hear him and crying against what they were doing. In Jonah 3, 4, and 5, it says, And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh, shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. People say that, well, this type of thing is not effective. Well, it was effective for Jonah. It said the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. I mean, they say it's not effective. It's not, people's just looking at you like you're crazy. Well, what if you go to the average church and you see preachers get up and preach and nobody gets saved or anything like that? Are we going to say that's not effective? Just because you may not always have somebody to get saved or something doesn't mean it didn't prick somebody's heart and may eventually lead on to them later being saved. Because, you know, when you are in, in any type of public ministry putting out the words of God with your mouth, with, uh, even on paper, things like that. That's planting the word of God in people's heart. In Luke fourteen twenty one, it says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So there he's told out to go quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, go out into the highways and hedges. In Matthew 3, 1, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. I don't think John the Baptist had a suit and tie on in church buildings and getting called around preaching at churches. He was preaching in the wilderness of Judea. In Luke 9, 6, And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. So they were preaching the gospel in every town they went into. In Acts 8, 4, and 5, Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. They were literally going everywhere. It'd be like you getting in the car, driving around, and just getting out of your car and just preaching the gospel to everybody that you see. In Acts 5, 15 and 16, insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by not passing by might overshadow some of them. So they were even, back when the signs of the apostles, like healing, when those type of things were going on, they were even bringing out the sick into the streets to be healed. 
In Acts 17, 22 and 23, it says, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that on all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. So Paul got up there right in the midst of Mars Hill and started preaching against their gods that they were ignorantly worshiping. Street preaching, public ministry, is a very big thing in the Bible. I have heard pastors that are against knocking on doors. They say you shouldn't go around knock on doors and give the gospel that way. I've heard some say that they're against street preaching. They say you should only go door knocking. I've heard some say you should only go door knocking, not street preaching. I've heard some say that you, uh, you should not pass out tracts. You should just go up to the person and tell them the gospel. But I think all of these things are good. Passing out tracts, street preaching, going door to door. I mean, I don't think God is so much focused on how you do it as long as you do it. Giving out the gospel. In Acts 11, 1, it says, Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Waters can also refer to people. And when you do these things, you are casting the word of God on the people. And your labor isn't in vain. I think God cares more about the fact that you're doing something more than how you're doing it. Certain ways may be more appropriate in certain situations, but never never tell somebody to just stop doing these things. At least they're doing something. Just be glad that they're doing it, even if it isn't exactly how you do it. And I do see a lot of street preachers that do seem to add works to the gospel when they preach on the street, and that's not right. Make sure you make the gospel clear, however you're getting it out in the public, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and resurrected. He shed his blood for our sins, and that we come to him for salvation, not quit sinning to be saved or quit sinning to stay saved. It's about what Jesus did and not what we do. Make sure that that's clear, because people don't have sense biblically. And they need real guidance. They have no idea what the gospel is. They have no idea how to be saved. So when you're telling them to quit sinning to be saved, that's a false gospel. There are a lot of street preachers that may take it too far with their anger towards the sinners. But I mean, at least they are doing something. At least they are reminding them that God is in heaven watching them. And I believe the Bible has enough to convict. And we don't have to necessarily add anything to to it to make it more convicting i mean just preach the word say for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god i don't have to insult them and call them say you know all you faggots are going to hell and all that i mean the bible is offensive enough i don't have to go out and say all these just things to make people feel even worse than the bible already makes them feel go out and say god is angry with the wicked every day Say the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. These things are convicting and offensive enough. I don't have to add my own insults to it. I don't have to call them names. I mean, you can call it, call them sinners. Call them what the Bible calls them. But making up all these extra names, you're just going to turn them off even more. Nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with street preaching. Nothing wrong with public ministry. Never get to thinking you're more spiritual because you do it. Also, never get to thinking you're more civilized or something because you don't do it. I've seen that on both sides. I've seen people who think they're ultra spiritual and act like they're spiritual giants because they go street preaching. And then I've seen some people that think that the street preachers are just crazy. Even though they're Christian themselves, they think, well, that needs to just be in a church. You see, there's two extremes there. But for me, seeing a street preacher is very encouraging to me. It makes me more confident to do what I need to do. Just like people wax confident seeing Paul in prison for the faith. In Philippians 1.4, it says, And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. He said in Philippians 1.15, Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. Some preach on the street and do it with envy and strife but some also of goodwill. 
Philippians 1, 16 and 17, the one preached Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. When a street preacher does things in the wrong spirit, it just makes it harder for the ones who are doing it in the right spirit. Just like the men who were preaching Christ of contention made it harder for Paul when he was in bonds for the gospel. However, even though many men didn't do it how Paul did it, he still rejoiced because they were doing it, and the truth of Christ was being preached nonetheless. He says in Philippians 1.18, What then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. So, public ministry is good, street preaching is good. It doesn't, I don't think it matters so much how you do it as long as you are getting the word of God out and the gospel out somehow.